We all don't want to wake up in the morning and be miserable going to work. If you're going to do something and wherever you go, do it well. Our biggest success, I think, we don't hire based on experience. We prefer to hire people based on personality and attitude. Having that discipline, that mindset to create that success for you in that business. You became the top salesperson essentially for Lion's Den. Like, you know what, Jason, I'm not competitive at all. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, but you becoming number one really pushed everyone else. Yeah. In a good way, in a good way, in a good <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're watching Shift Happens Beyond the Boxes, where we take a look at the inner workings of the moving industry. Hey guys, Jason Burkinski here with Shift Happens. Uh, today, I have Jeannie with me, um, who Jeannie's worked with us uh, for almost three years. Mm -hmm. And um, super excited actually to bring her on uh, to the show because she brings so many things that I think are really neat that have helped us grow as a company. Um, she got to be uh, one of the speakers at Legends Retreat, which was uh, you know, we had over 40 moving companies that fly in uh, from all over the country. So anyway, thank you, Jeannie, for coming on. Oh, no, thank you for having me. <laughs> Great opportunity. Yep. So anyway, so tell me a little bit, I guess we'll kind of start right off um, how you found Move It Pro and what got you here to be here with us. Oh, gosh. Well, first of all, I think I didn't be, didn't need to be needed at home. And I don't know if you knew this. Did we share that I was a home educator? I think so. Homeschooler. Mm -hmm. And so we actually got relocated from South Florida to Central, and I was bored. And I'm like, I need to find something to do. And I'm like, well, what do I like to do? You know, the past I've been a graphic designer, and I love software, and that's how I discovered your company. Yep. I actually looked you up, and I was like, oh, maybe they'll hire me. <laughs> and so that was uh, almost three years ago. So you started off, um, so out of that three years, how long were you? You started off in our call center. Yep. So yep. that was a I year and a half, maybe? Yeah, I think um, I think the first year. I was there for a year and then transitioned into sales. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the first year you worked for, uh, at the time, I don't think we called it Lion's Den yet, right? It was just, it was just, it was, just it was Moving Pro's center. call center, yep. mm -hmm. um, where you were answering calls yep. for moving companies all over the United States, yes. and you were their sales rep, essentially. You were yes. the one... Um, talking to people, getting doing their estimate, mm -hmm. uh, booking their move and stuff like that. Kind of tell me a little bit about that process and how you, because obviously you had never worked for a moving company before and we're no. you know, like what the learning was of that and, yep. um, and all so, that. So, well, first and foremost, I love that it was just really easy to learn. I mean, my exciting thing is that I had a cubicle, you yeah. know, I mean, some people would think like, why does she want to work in a cubicle? <laughs> but I wanted to get out of the house, yeah. you know, and so getting to, into that environment of being able to communicate with customers and knowing that I just recently did a move, you know, yep. being uprooted from everything that I knew and yep. coming to a new area, you know, what better way than to provide that service for customers and relate to them. Sure. And so learning that process and engaging with clients and then the excitement of, um, you know, being part of that, that story, you know, for their journey was exciting. And then understanding the moving industry through you with the software, I was like, gosh, who knew that all this existed? Yeah. So it was neat. And I think, so the funniest thing is like the first time I like met, met you essentially, <laughs> um, oh boy. which is kind of a funny story. So like, so you had been working here, I think a couple weeks, you'd mm -hmm. gone through training and stuff. And like, obviously like I had seen you, um, so obviously almost three years ago and, um, you had come up. So the haircut lady comes and gives a bunch of the guys haircuts at her office. Mm -hmm. And I just finished getting my haircut. And so Jeannie comes up to me. Um, and we hadn't like officially met cause s someone else hired you in the company and you mm -hmm. came in and you had been working call center and training and you came up to me, which was interesting cause you were so <laughs> grateful. Like you came up and you, and I don't remember exactly what you said, mm -hmm. but you came up and you like shook my hand mm -hmm. and you're like, thank you so much for giving mm -hmm. me this opportunity. Yep. And I'm That's so excited much. to be here. <laughs> and, um, and I just wanted to introduce myself to you and, and thank you so much. And I think that is like really a testament to the, like what we try and get here. Like, mm -hmm. like in one of my other videos I did was, um, which got a lot of backlash and so funny, but like <laughs> oh, no. of, of saying to people, like, I don't want people just to be here only for a paycheck. Obviously everyone gets a paycheck, right? Like that's without saying, but the point of it of like, I want people to be here because they like, they enjoy working of course. for the company. They enjoy the people that, um, that we are and they enjoy, like, I don't want people to get up out of bed and be mm -hmm. frustrated about having mm -hmm. to go to work, mm -hmm. you know? And mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. Like, there's jobs out there that are frustrating to have to go to work. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not what we wanted. Like, we've built the company to be something that we want when people come into work, like, they're happy mm -hmm. and um, 
they're excited to do mm-hmm. what they're, you know, what they're doing. And so like in mm-hmm. the very beginning, when you first started was you were helping solve people's problems in the mm-hmm. sense that they were looking for a moving company and you were able to help them find a great moving company, give them an estimate, tell them how much it was going to be and walk them through that process. And you were like genuinely excited right. about your job, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and that's where I think we've done so well with move it pro and with lion's den now is because those are the people that we try and find. We try and find people that are excited about being at work. Mm. Obviously it's work. Everyone knows it's work. I'm not expecting you to, um, look at work as something more important than your family and all this stuff. Like people took stuff out of con, you know, on a, right. out of context, but right, right, right. you know, the point being is we want people to be excited about what we do. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I think that was really neat. So you, you were doing that and I think you became our top salesperson for Lion's Den. Yeah. And the longest um, and, <laughs> and the longest standing. Um, well, also I talked the longest with the clients. Yeah. So like, <laughs> so we had a rule, which is interesting mm-hmm. for call center. So obviously we run a call center for, for, for moving companies. So most call centers, um, want the least talk times. <laughs> like that's what they, they grade you on. They want least talk times, most bookings, right? So for us, um, we went a different approach, which I really think has worked for us, is we don't care about talk times. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're talking to a customer for 45 minutes and building all that rapport and going mm-hmm. through their house and doing all that stuff, that, to me, results in sales. Like, mm-hmm. that's the reality mm-hmm. of what happens. Mm-hmm. Um, and you are. You love connecting with people and talking to people, and you connect with them and Sometimes you tell people about, you know, you have boys that are in college and you have this and you have that, but (laughs) you connect with people and you're relatable versus, um, you know, someone calling, you know, a moving company and there's just some, you know, rough voice on the other end of the phone and he's Mm -hmm. carrying a couch as he's trying to talk to the people and he doesn't really (laughs) want to give them an estimate because he's Mm -hmm. busy. Right. So it's a big difference. Right. Um, and so I think that's some of the stuff that you've done really, Mm -hmm. really well with. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit how you've, so obviously you went then, uh, I think we asked you, like, mm-hmm. Jeannie, do you want do you want to move into yeah. our sales department for actually selling software? Yeah. Um, and what that looked like for you in, in making that decision and process. So, I mean, first and foremost, you know, when I come into working anywhere and like you were sharing about you want to have a fun environment and you want to, you know, kind of be more family oriented. That's how I felt. It was more part of a family here, the culture. And I really liked that. And you valued family because that was one of the key things that I told you. I'm like a mom. I still have a high schooler and I need to be able to address him. And that was really important to you that you were like, no, not a problem. We'll work with you, Jeannie. Um, But when I transitioned into sales, what's interesting is that's part of my background, you know, in the visual world. Right. Yeah. And, um, you know, I was like, okay, are you sure you want me to do sales? What if I'm not good at sales? (laughs) What if, you know, I'm going to be chasing people and they're going to not want to talk to me. Sure. But that wasn't the case. Um, I think the vision that you had for me is that Jeannie is already relatable. So you're already speaking to the clients. You've utilized the software. You've seen the success with other moving company owners. Yep. And that's the experience that I had. I was able to not only use the software and then gain that experience, but that knowledge from moving company owners. And then it was an easy transition then to just really present the software because I felt that it was an incredible software. Not that I'm like, I work here, I get it, but it really is, it makes life easier. And then when I present it to the client and they have that engaging where I can actually visually see them in a Zoom call, it's it's just, to me, it's priceless. I love it and it makes it easy. And so I do love working um, and coming to work. And to add to that, you know, we all don't wanna wake up in the morning and be miserable going to work. And that happens. But one of the key things that I tell my kids is, um, if you're going to do something and wherever you go, do it well, because if you can do it well, you know, then it's just going to really resonate with your experience. Yeah. And then just, if there's another step that you have to move on to move on to that, yeah. but do well where you're at. Yeah. So. Here's a word from one of our sponsors. Are you a moving company struggling to keep up with customer calls? Let Lion's Den Booking Service handle your overflow, after hours calls, or even the entirety of your sales. As a call center booking service, we're dedicated to helping your business thrive. With years of experience and a commitment to customer satisfaction, we'll make sure your clients receive the best possible service. Trust us to take your business to the next level. Contact Lion's Den Booking Service today. www.lionsdensales.com And so tell me, so you brought up a little bit like what you used to do. So obviously you were a home educator for years Mm -hmm. with your boys. Oh gosh. And then, so prior to that, 
what was you, so you did graphic design yep, work with, I was, tell me a little bit yep yep i was a graphic designer so vi visual communications is what my background is and anything that they could offer especially to an artist right you want to be able to pay the bills yep. um but i was offered a great opportunity to work in the wedding industry and that's how i was hired right out of college designing invitations so i got involved with you know magazine covers sure. and articles like that and all that kind of fun and really attention to detail and then, yes, you do have to speak to people <laughs> to the clients. in person. It's such a And allow different... them to critique what you've done. Absolutely. And... <laughs> yeah. and it's wonderful. And you're beautiful. And we're going to make it happen. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but but I loved it. I enjoyed it. It was just being creative. That's yeah. it. The creativity is what I like. Yeah. And I enjoy being And you worked people. for that company for? Almost 14 years. 14 years. Yeah. Almost 14 years. Which is really neat. Which is yeah. really awesome of you. You know, like... <laughs> The whole thing, and I think it's changed a lot yeah. um, over the years. Like mm -hmm. when, you know, which some of it's probably some of the company's faults, um, you know, the businesses that are out mm -hmm. there. And then some mm -hmm. of it probably is the employee mindset. But like, mm -hmm. like I know like my father and like past generations, when they would get a career job, mm -hmm. like they would die at that job mm -hmm. not work wise but like they would they would work there it's a mindset. for their 30 years their 40 years mm -hmm. they'd retire from that company mm -hmm. and have retirement and all that stuff but now the generations changed a lot and mm -hmm. it's a lot more of job hopping and it's mm -hmm. a lot more of um you know maybe they can make an extra 50 cents an hour at another mm -hmm. company and so they mm -hmm. pop over there but then they realize it's not exactly what it was meant mm -hmm. to be and stuff mm -hmm. And I think that's something that I really admire, you know, of you. And I think that obviously like we do that here though, we do mm -hmm. 401k matching and which mm -hmm. I think yep. you do. Right. And we yep. do, you know, all the things that like, that are beneficial, I think for a long-term employee and, and make Absolutely. it make sense. Well, I think that it's interesting that you mentioned that. Yes, there is kind of like the pendulum and swinging as far as the mindset of looking for jobs. But even when I was 19 back in the day, yep. you know, longevity was key. And if you're sure. happy and satisfied and you're producing how you should, then absolutely you want to stay and thrive. Yep. Um, I w was given opportunities to go elsewhere, but I think that there's value when there's flexibility. And then as, as and you're like working right alongside me as well. Sure. So it's like, how do you find that in other corporations? Usually they just forget about their employees, but you don't do that. So yep. you're kind of like, you want to do well, you want to succeed, you know, as yeah. a team. I appreciate so. that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. The, um, and so you like, what do you, and kind of back to like Lion's Den. Mm -hmm. So when you were doing call center mm -hmm. stuff, what do you think it was? Because obviously you came from never selling moves before. Like yeah. you never gave people estimates. You never had done that before you worked I moved. here. <laughs> you moved. Yeah, yeah. Which <laughs> yeah. most people, right? Yeah, yeah. But like, what do you think it was specifically for you that allowed you to book more moves than most people? And like, like you became the top salesperson essentially for Lion's Den. Like, what do you think it was in your sales process or in the way that you acted or the way that you mm, did things? That's a good question. I think in the sales process is that I just engaged with the customer asking them what they needed, really wanting to hear their story, their circumstances, because really just recently being uprooted from where I was at, going through an experience of moving with moving company owners, you know, not knowing where I was at, you know, that's where I would put my mindset with that client. You know, yeah. maybe there was just new family you know, um, you know, or maybe an unfortunate circumstance. You know, I got sure. to hear a lot of that um, being on that side of because that's a whole estimate. different call. Like it if is. you if you're talking to someone and they're excited because they're getting married mm -hmm. and now there's two homes moving into one, like mm -hmm. that's a totally different call mm -hmm. of handling it as a salesperson like mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. versus someone passed away. Yep. And they're having to go there and get all of this person's stuff and put yep. it in storage. Like that's a totally different it way is. that you would handle that call. It is. And um, you have to you have to understand and know where the clients are coming from when they talk to you. Yeah. And then also you're representing those businesses that yeah. are handling those clients. And I mean, yeah, most of the time the clients would be like, you know what? Oh, yes. I mean, I'm so glad that I spoke with you. It was nice. And, and I'm not here. you connect with them. You connect exactly. with them. That's the biggest thing is I think connecting with the customer. It's providing that service and connecting with them. And it's kind of like... Moving is needed and hearing hearing their stories and not having to like, oh, I want to rush off just to get to the next one. Yeah. Or why do I have to listen to their conversation? You know, let me just get on with another call. And that's just not the way that I saw every call. Yeah. Every call I felt like they needed a service and I'm going to do the best to provide that service for yeah. them. And that's what ended up happening. Why I ended up being number one. Yeah. And it was exciting because you know what, Jason, I'm not competitive at all. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, and it's funny because, she, but you becoming number one really pushed everyone else. Yeah. In a good way. In a good way. In a good <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but competition's always good. So. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, know. yeah, we could only have one. What is it? Super Bowl? We could only have one winner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. I get so it. One of the interesting things, and I think um, anyone that's talked to you, and you've signed up, I don't know how many moving companies for Move It Pro now, probably. My last month was yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. So, I, I mean, know. you're just, we're signing up cus customers like crazy, and, mm -hmm. and you talk to so many. Mm -hmm. um, and when I hear you on the phone, and it's funny because it's not just when you're on the phone, like <laughs> it's your personality and stuff, but like you've become just a huge raving fan <laughs> of Move It Pro <laughs> yeah. and our call center. Like you yeah. like you speak it to customers, you speak it when you're not on the phone to cut like you just live it and breathe it. Like what do you think it is in you that makes you feel that way? And then what do you think it is that we do as a company that makes you mm -hmm. feel that strongly about it? That's a good question. Um thinking it through really, I mean believing believing first of all, I'm gonna share this about the story that you shared. Yeah. is your dad, you yeah. know, that that generation of you being able to see what your dad, blood, sweat, and tears, you lived it. Sure. You lived it, and then what you wanted to do is make things better. And you did by creating the software because you wanted him home. You yeah. know, and you had shared that story. Yeah. And I think you I think you had posted it, you know, maybe somewhere. Probably. And I had seen it. And yeah. I knew a little bit about your background, meeting your dad and everything. And I said, you know, there's there's someone that actually truly cares, genuinely cares, and wants to help others, yeah. you know, with what you've been through and what you've seen. Because there's a lot of guys out there. I mean, I've heard stories when I was in the call center with some of the owners yep. that they want to be home, yeah. you know, with their family. And so for me, I'm like thinking, yeah, this is this is just more than the software. It's really a community. You're building that engagement with those others. You're wanting to assist them for them to have better lives. Yeah. And I think that's where I'm like, yeah, I'm all in. I definitely believe in all about having that servant attitude. Yeah. And it's providing a service. Yeah. So some may just think it's software, but I think it's so much more. But you see how much yeah. it changes some of mm -hmm. these companies' lives. Yes. Like, yep. um, and seeing how much it changes their companies. And I think that's mm -hmm. a really big part. And I think that's something that really ex mm -hmm. like re is ignited my excitement for the industry mm -hmm. of being able to help moving company owners. Exactly. Like um, I'm l lucky in the fact that we've gotten to a point where mm -hmm. uh, my wife and I live good and, mm -hmm. and we've built uh, with a team, a great couple companies. And, mm -hmm. um, but you I, the field. I you really, yeah. Like, but I really <laughs> enjoy now doing the legend retreat and mm -hmm. doing our grow workshops here and like mm -hmm. the people that come in to those and it's just it's amazing how much knowledge they don't have which is not a bad thing mm -hmm. but it's because there's not a lot of places to get the knowledge unless you're Correct. in the field mm -hmm. um and like the people that i mean we get people that were flying in from all over the country mm -hmm. People that are driving. I mean, we had a couple drive from New Jersey. No, drove like Dro I drove know. all the way. You know, and I to love Orlando, them. Florida. They were fantastic. Yeah. Um, you know, the couple that comes from Tampa, and they mm -hmm. would drive every day back and forth to come to our conferences. That. Like I know, just really, like it's really exciting to me to be able to help mm -hmm. those people and be able to see the light bulb go off and be able to like. So many of these moving companies are starting out and they're just, they're not making money and mm -hmm. they're just, they're, but they're busting their butt. They're mm -hmm. working 60, 70 hours a week mm -hmm. and they're out on the truck and they're mm -hmm. going through all of the, the hell that it mm -hmm. is to try and build a company, mm -hmm. but they are missing certain pieces that, that we've been able to help either with our software product or with us just being able to sit down mm -hmm. with them and, and be able to talk. And I think that's been one of the exciting things for mm -hmm. me, um, of why legends I think was so neat, mm -hmm. um, which kind of leads me into the next thing of yeah, that was huge. Um, you know, we asked you to be a speaker at Legends, <laughs> which you did phenomenal. <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, yeah, and like talk to me a little bit about what what that was like. Obviously, you got you got up and spoke for I don't know an hour, hour and a half. I think I passed in, my time in, in front of <laughs> in front of forty moving company owners, of which you had known. Mm -hmm. Probably at least a third of them that you had done talked on the phone it. before, but like yeah. maybe not met. You'd never met any of them mm -hmm. in person, but mm -hmm. like what that what that was like for you to be able to do that, and were you nervous? And like what was what was it like? Yeah, well, I mean, first, thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> I mean, because it is. I think public speaking is nerve wracking. You know, it's yeah. not an easy thing to yeah. do. 
But the thing is, is that because I felt that it was a community of family and being able to give that opportunity of speaking to them and giving them my experience, I actually gave them my experience of what I actually went through with a moving company um, that had moved us and then understanding what they go through and appreciating. So I was able to share that and then just really encourage them because I think that that was a part of the opportunity they gave me to speak is to talk about really what my role is is assisting moving company owners and yep. then being part of all of this community and then them get, getting to hear it from my perspective. It also encourages them that, hey, you know what, we are doing something, yeah. that it is providing a service, that we we do care about our employees and just really, just really talking to, to family. That's what it felt like. Yeah. You know, I mean, I had people hugging me, yeah. you know, and it so was, that, that, yeah. but that was part of what Legends was so cool though, because mm-hmm. it was so laid back and it mm-hmm. was such a, like obviously there's tons of learning and networking and stuff going on, but yeah. it was very um, close knit um, group that got together that, you know, guys yeah. were and, and gals were swimming and bowling together and like from yeah. all over the country that had never met each other before yeah. and learning. those few days. And then finding out what works and doesn't work yeah. and what, you know, all those things yeah. that like, I don't even know how you put a price tag on some of that stuff. Oh, you know? what about the three generations? And yeah. you know who I'm talking about. You guys were all in the kitchen having dinner and three generations of moving company owners yeah. were assisting one on how to improve for his sales and increase his revenue yeah. and what he needed to do. And I'm sitting there eating and And he texted me two that. weeks later and told me how much that helped and I that he had booked it. a couple huge, huge moves. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we've talked about it before. That was house to house movers. Yes. Um, yeah. And that was... Uh, myself was there and um, Greg Shepard from USA yeah. Home Listings yeah. and um, a couple of our other employees and mm-hmm. then and then Angus. Mm-hmm. Um, and we it was neat because Angus started his moving company um, just as a side hustle and he's really grown it into wow. something really special. And he, um, he was one of the he was one of the youngest ones. He there. is probably one of the youngest. I think he's like yeah. 22, 23. I mean the diligence. You but know. he has um something special Mm -hmm. his his personality Mm -hmm. is infectious in a good way like he is um i think he's gonna do cool things like over over time he's so young and so ambitious oh yeah that um that i can see him in 10 years from now having 10 locations and 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 being huge you know yep yep Um, vision is key and he's super humble like which is cool with that with that kid Here's a word from one of our sponsors. Attention, moving company owners. Are you tired of managing your business with spreadsheets and pen and paper methods? Do you want to streamline your operations, increase your bookings, and look more professional to your customers? Then it's time to switch to MoveIt Pro software. Our cloud-based platform provides everything you need to manage your moving company in one place, from booking and dispatching to payment processing and customer communication. Plus, with features like GPS tracking, real-time notifications, and detailed reporting, you'll be able to optimize your operations and take your business to the next level. So what are you waiting for? Visit www.moveitpro.com to schedule a free demo today and see how we can help you move your business forward. So yeah. obviously, like you've you've worked with Move It Pro now for, for a few years. Like what's one of your favorite things you think about working at Move It Pro and um Oh gosh, been part Jason. of your just coming. I love yeah. coming. I love coming. I mean, one of my favorite things um, I've always said is really talking to people all over the yeah. world. I, I mean, I don't get to have that opportunity because every day you talk to between three and fifty moving companies, right? Three would be probably that's, that's I know. That no, doesn't the happen. calls that I have to make. Yeah, no, that's crazy. But, no, but, but yeah. But yeah. I mean, you're doing now. I mean, on a busy day, you're doing eight demos a day. Yeah, one day was 10. Yeah, 10 yeah. demos in a day. Yeah, and I will yeah. work around the client's schedule because we understand the movers are working yeah. and sometimes they can't, you know, they can't meet with me throughout the day and so we'll meet with them after hours to be able to at least present the software yeah. um, to see how we can assist them. But really, yeah, that's that's one of the takeaways, but absolutely I do love coming in. I, I love being useful that I know that I can assist somebody in some way. Yeah, I think there's something that resonates with that, being able to wake up in the morning and knowing you know what? Yep. Let's see who I'm going to help today. Yeah. That's how I look at it. And you've been so. like, I mean, in reality, you've been on fire lately for, oh, for signing a, up moving companies. Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you're just getting so good oh, or no, no, no I think I'm it not. is. I think it is. that. But uh, 
also, I just, I don't know what it is, but like, um, I think a big thing was probably the way the market was mm -hmm. over the last year was, mm -hmm. was definitely struggling in the moving industry. Mm -hmm. Um, and while we certainly were signing companies up, but it's like now it's like, it is busier yeah. than it's, than it's ever been, which is awesome. It, there's going to be a change. I think oh, it's yeah. for the better. That's yeah. what it is. And everybody's gearing up and getting excited, yep. you know, and everybody's finding out about you know, what they need to do. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And that's as far good. as tools. Yep. So what, if you add a piece of advice for, so you've obviously done several positions throughout a moving company or mm -hmm. like, you know, in the industry now, but talking about when you were booking moves, mm -hmm. I think there's a couple pieces of advice that you could give someone. Um, and one would be if you're a moving company owner mm -hmm. and you're hiring someone like you to mm -hmm. come in, Mm -hmm. and do your sales, what advice would you have for them that maybe you've experienced with us or that, okay. you know, of how to keep someone and have someone that would be a raving fan of the company and to, to mm. do such a good job? Mm. I mean, how can I? I mean, positive. the positive is infectious here, the positivity. Yeah. Um, you worked alongside helping me on how to be able to communicate, but not really giving up because – Sometimes there's frustration in different aspects, but it was okay. It was like, no, let's just try again or communicating with me, you know, and saying, sure. why don't you try this aspect? Because you're giving me the question in the, in the sense of how a uh, moving company owner to work with someone hiring like me. And it's just really letting me know things that I don't know, allowing me to ask questions, yeah. allow me to make the mistakes, but then to try again. And really saying it's okay, you're going to get there. Really believing in me. Yep. And I think that's huge when you're sure. believing in your employees. Then your employees are going to want to do even better, strive to do better. Yeah. And so that's, I guess, the, the advice that I yeah. And I Yeah, and I agree with that. Like our biz biggest success, I think, was, um, and this goes with you, like you working with us mm -hmm. and, I mean, other employees here. Mm -hmm. Like we don't necessarily hire based on experience yep. in a certain aspect that. of the company. So, <laughs> yeah. and I think a lot of companies do that now, but mm -hmm. we, we prefer to hire people based on personality mm -hmm. and attitude that's, and, that's and mindset, amazing. right? So those, those mm -hmm. three things. So for me running a company, if someone has an amazing mindset an amazing attitude and like is just super positive and like whatever it is, mm -hmm no matter what they're going to do in their life, they're going to do mm -hmm. awesome. Like mm -hmm. that's just, it's just the reality of what it is. Mm -hmm. um, and so those are the people we try and pick out of the rough, which mm -hmm. obviously you're one, you well, know? Yeah. I and, mean, and ahead. I think, and I think that's the biggest thing that um, some companies struggle with mm -hmm. is they try and find experience only. Mm -hmm. And the, we've had a lot of people in the past that have a ton of experience. They've worked for moving companies. Mm -hmm. um, they've done all this stuff, but like, they didn't have the attitude that was good. And it didn't matter how much knowledge they had. If they didn't have the attitude when they're talking to customers and a, like a good attitude, mm -hmm. positive and all that stuff, mm -hmm. they were terrible mm -hmm. um, in the sense of being able to book moves or being able, even when we had the moving company, going out and doing moves. Like, I don't care how good you can load a truck. If you're disrespectful to a customer, mm -hmm. like, yeah. you know, it's not good for us, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that was would be my biggest piece of advice for someone that's hiring sales reps to come mm -hmm. in and be able to book moves and go out and do on sites and do that stuff is like you can teach people the moving industry. And I firmly believe that like, and this is me. I grew up in the moving industry. I used to be out on trucks. I dispatched mm -hmm. trucks. I did all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. But to me, it's more important, the personality and the mindset and stuff, because if the person has all of that, mm -hmm. they 100% can learn everything. Um, and so I think that was where we've done, had really good success. Yeah. And then on the flip side, what do you have advice for someone that's in a moving industry? They're an employee, mm -hmm. um, or they're looking at getting in the moving industry, like mm -hmm. for them to have a successful career in the industry or, you know, su successful career coming into a moving company. Um, in any role. Any role. any role and it could be in you know in any in any business in general mm -hmm. like as an employee if it's someone watching this that's you know 22 years old and they're just starting oh, to yeah. get their first career job yeah. act yeah. like it's one of your sons yeah. like what if it's there you know <laughs> you know let me tell you something one thing about the moving industry and and being young cuz i've gotten to meet young moving company sure. owners is having that discipline that mindset to create that success for you in that business cuz if you're willing to 
to give it your all, be a team player, and then really find out what the mission, the mission behind um, what the owner is wanting for their their company. Yeah. You know, be a part of that because from speaking to company owners, they actually embrace those employees. Mm -hmm. They will treat them well. They will really see, okay, these guys are here for the long run and I want to take care of them. And I think that is going to also allow you to work up that ladder because that's another reason, you know, when you had stated about not having any experience is, you know what, have that mindset of I'm going to do this company, but I'm going to do it well, but I'm going to work my way all the yeah. way up. And, and you definitely had everything. experience in other industries. It's not yeah, like you had no experience. But, but, but it I was came just, in. You know, I had no idea you, about your you, software. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't <laughs> yeah, really know. And you, know. but your personality trait was I'm going to figure it out exactly. and I'm going to figure it out the best of my ability. Exactly. I'm not going to come in. And just clock in, clock out, and I don't really give a crap. No. And whatever happens, happens. That's not what I tell myself. Like, sons. you know, you you come in. Obviously, you clock in and clock out. I'm not like, right. you, you're, you're getting paid for all the people out there that I are going to say you don't pay. Paid. Your, like, I'm yeah. getting paid. But, yeah. like, you know, the point being of that, when you clock in, you're here. Like, mm -hmm. and you're, you know, you're going to do the best you can. And mm -hmm. if today is is the day that you you struggle through it and you figure it out and whatever oh, yeah. it is then that's what today is i've had those days you know i've had those days where i had to struggle and <laughs> i remember you said okay Jeannie, we'll do it again you know yep. it's okay yep. but absolutely absolutely it's definitely worth it yep. in anything that we do that's what i tell my sons all yeah. the time i have young adults and it's yep. like you know try to find longevity in where you're going and that's part of what we do and that's like the the mentality of us saying um, the mindset and the mm -hmm. attitude and the stuff of mm -hmm. of people that work with us, mm -hmm. it reaches a lot further than just the employees. Like when we do mm -hmm. things as a company, mm -hmm. not even talking about employees, we try and do everything the best we can. Mm -hmm. um, when we're going to do a podcast like this, we're going to do the best we can. Like we're mm -hmm. not going to just, oh, it's good enough. Like we're going to right. hire uh people to come and work with us and help us better. Mm -hmm. We're going to buy the equipment. We're going to mm -hmm. do this stuff mm -hmm. because we, everything we do, we want to try and do the best we can. Right. Do it with excellence. And, you know, mm -hmm. and that's in everything in the mm -hmm. way that we develop stuff, the way yeah. that we um, mm -hmm. develop our code for, you know, the moving industry, the mm -hmm. way that we add new features, the way that we hire people, the way that we, this, the run, run meetings, the way that we do our MIP rally in the morning. Oh yeah. The cheering. Um, <laughs> which by the way, so, <laughs> Some of you may like we've shown it sometimes before, but we do a rally every morning at 1105. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, which is all the employees come together. Um, we have some remote employees also, so they have to log in and we can see them on screen. Um, the majority of our employees are all in office, but um, we go through and we every morning, so five days a week, mm -hmm. um, we discuss uh, it's a five minute meeting, yeah, but we go over um, all of the KPIs of the company that mm -hmm. we really track, um, the main ones. And so we talk about how much revenue and contracts we've brought in for the month. Mm -hmm. uh, we talk about uh, if you signed up with Move It Pro, uh, your name gets called every single day for yeah. that month. We cheer you um, on. We every we um, we call out the name of the moving company that's been um, signed up for that month. By the end of the month, it's usually a lot of names, and it takes a little longer. The meetings get longer, <laughs> and then what the sales rep's name was that signed it up. I hear Jeannie's name a lot. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, we talk about how many contacts are in our system, uh, how many five-star reviews we've gotten, who has the most bookings mm -hmm. for the call center, mm -hmm. who has, and it's a really neat thing mm -hmm. that we've done that some people might look at and be like, oh, that's a lot of work to have to do that every day. But I think it's, when We're we started doing it like a year and a half ago or yeah. so, I think it's yeah. really a neat thing that we em embodied um, into our culture that... Um, I mean, it's funny. Yesterday, I think it was yesterday. Yesterday, mm -hmm. we had uh, so a kid comes in to interview, right? And uh, I'm downstairs in mm -hmm. the building, and everyone's getting ready to go up. And so I walk. No, I was in a conference room in a meeting. So he comes in, and I'm not interviewing him. I think Michael was. Anyway, I see he's a, a interviewee, and uh, so I come out of the conference room, and he immediately stands up, shakes my hand. I say, "Hey, how you doing? You here for interview?" And I say, "Uh." We're going up to our morning meeting real quick. I said, why don't you come with us? And I don't tell him anything we're going to do. <laughs> and um, so I think we're hiring him. I'm not sure. Michael oh, interviewed him. But awesome. anyway, so he came up and he's part of the morning meeting and he's just looking around because yeah, uh, he didn't expect it's, that. you know, you're not expecting all these people to be clapping and cheering right. and cheering each other on and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think that's 
Um, so I'm really passionate about it and I'm really excited that we do it. And I yeah. think it's something that, um, that's been neat. So yeah, it's celebrating. It's celebrating everything, Yep. you know, and it's, oh. and it holds, uh, it gives, um, it gives the, you know, aspect of we're telling and showing appreciation for the employees mm -hmm. that are doing really good. Mm -hmm. Um, and every employee that gets to hear their name over and over and over mm -hmm. during it and stuff, I think is a really cool thing. So, yeah, so cool. Super cool. So, so anything else you want to add? Um, if anyone is watching this and they are a moving <laughs> company owner, yes. here's, this is your, your little blurb you get to put in there. Oh my um, goodness. if you're a moving company owner and whether you're with us or not, but if you have questions about move it pro, if you have questions about lines yep. and booking service, yeah. Um, if you have questions, um, you know, Jeannie loves helping people. So if you have questions on what are better ways for me to, you know, book moves or whatever it is, Absolutely. Jeannie would love to talk to you. Um, and so, uh, we actually, I'm pretty excited about this. We just hired Jeannie an assistant. Oh gosh. And I think that's I couldn't pretty believe exciting. I, needed access. I was like, am I not doing my job? Jason? No, no, no. <laughs> you are doing such an amazing job that you're getting an assistant. So, Appreciate but anyways, that. what is your, um, what's your phone number for the office? Oh, my phone number it is 407-988-0323. Perfect. Is that comes straight to your desk? Or the yes, extension? that's my that's landline. Yep. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure we'll put that up on the screen. And um, cool. Thank you so much oh, for no, doing this, Oh, no, thank you for Jeannie. having me here. It was an honor. Hopefully, you know, everyone got a little nugget out of this to take Perfect. away. Yep. That sounds good. All right. Yep. Well, thank you, you very call? much. All right. Bye. Have a good rest of the day. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for tuning into our podcast. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and get notified each time a new one comes out. We'll see you next time.